Hey, 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 scrappy people. It's Tracy Reed here today with something a little different. So, as you know, I'm doing a December daily album, which has been awesome and super fun, and I'm really enjoying it. But I'm also being super, super extra with my Elf on the Shelf this year. And I don't want to include every day's Elf on the Shelf photos with my um, December daily because there's other stories that need to be told for December daily and I could take up a whole spread on the elf on the shelf every day. So I've been contemplating what I want to do with these elf on the shelf photos and I'm basically telling a story with my elf on the shelf. Um, we have two this year. One is Sid and one is Hermie and Sid is the naughty elf and Hermie is the nice elf and um, since Sid has arrived he's getting and will get progressively more um, bratty and grinchy and so I'm captioning the story on Instagram every day and so I want to have a sort of storybook for the elf and I had a pocket page notebook from the stamp spot um, sitting waiting for me to do something with it and I counted the pages and there are exactly 25 spreads in the pocket page notebook. So how perfect is that? So I decided that I would use this pocket page notebook as a storybook for our Elf on the Shelf this year. And when I'm done with it, I will put it in the back of my um, December Daily album or somewhere in the December Daily album. And it will be a great little reminder of all of the awesomeness. So Two goals with this is I want to keep it sort of flat so that it will close and go in the back of the December daily album. And also, um, I want to tell the story so every day we'll have journaling stolen from my Instagram feed. So, whoo, all that to say, um, here is day one and day two because I have to work on both sides of the spread together because when I use my fuse tool to um, change the pockets, and make them smaller or whatever. I have to work on both sides at the same time because I won't be able to change what's on the opposite side once I am finished. So I'm using a few things. First, if you've been watching my regular December daily videos, you know that I'm using the Very Merry line plus red and green. But I have a ton of really awesome products that have a lot of blue in them. And since Hermie is blue, I decided that I would use those products for my traveler's notebook. So um, I'm using Hip Kit Club stuff, the November kits from Hip Kit, Cl or Hip Kit Club, plus the December um, 2015 December Daily Kit I bought on clearance, and then some Pink Fresh Studio, their new Christmas line from this year as well. Uh, so you see me here. I have been talking over all of this process, but I think it's fairly self-explanatory up to this point. I used some tissue paper to back my photo of my boys, and on the other side, I'm putting the number two for day two. So I'm just embellishing the back side of that before I start putting everything in the plastic pocket. And remember, I'm trying to keep it fairly flat and the tissue paper will help in that because tissue paper is so thin but the wood veneer won't so I'm not going to use too much of that. <laughs> so I'm ready to start fusing my pockets and I am going to I want to create a shaker pocket with that three by four card. Um, on the other side is a photo and then on this bottom one, I'm just going to seal it off because I've already done all of my embellishing. So I have to seal off the bottom before I, um, before I start the top so that the shaker pocket sequins won't get into that bottom pocket. Now this, um, because I'm not putting anything between my fuse tool and the page underneath it, it does leave some indents on the page underneath it. So if you, that would bother you, make sure you put like a little piece of cardboard or um, a scrap piece of paper, like cardstock underneath the pocket before you start using the fuse tool so that you don't get that problem. 
So I'm going to seal off the side of this. I cut off the edge of the pocket so that it would be easier to slide things in and out. I do that when I'm creating pockets with multiple like stacks and layers on them. I initially had a different idea for this pocket. I was going to add the sequins along the edges of this um, three by four card instead of over the three by four card, but there just wasn't enough room in those side pockets for the sequins. They didn't move freely enough. So I just decided to put the sequins in with the three by four card and the photo on the other side. So I'm using the sequins from, uh, I believe these, these are hip kit, but I believe they are from the November 2017 kit. So of course they're gonna match perfectly. I'm just throwing a bunch in there. I should have put my three by four card in first, <laughs> but I didn't. Oh yeah, that looked easy. That's because it wasn't in the pocket. So I'm gonna end up having to shake it around and then I think I take it out again and dump all the sequins back out and try again. So now I'm gonna put the three by four back in and then I'll put the sequins in. I want some to be in front of the card and some to be in the back of the card so that there are sequins on both sides. And then once I'm done with that, I will fuse the top of the pocket shut so that they don't come out. And I actually kind of like the way that that turned out, even though it wasn't my original idea. Um, it kind of has that car just kind of floating, which is fun, I think. So I'm gonna lose some footage here in a minute. Um, I ran out of space on my phone and I didn't realize it so a little bit of the process of this side of the page gets lost but don't worry it's nothing super special or inventive so you don't really miss too much just a lot of hemming and hawing about what papers I want to use and some cutting of course I messed that up because I printed on printer paper and it wasn't thick enough to handle such a close cut so I printed out all of my journaling that I've done so far on one sheet of paper and I'm going to cut it up into strips every day so that there will be some consistency in the look throughout the album with the storyline. Okay, so this is where we're going to cut out and I'm just auditioning a bunch of papers anyway and then I decide to go with a red paper from the old Hip Kit 2015 kit and I just cut it on the diagonal there and then I mat the photo with another paper that has like polka dots around the edges. And then I cut out that one in, into a circle and use it as a tab. So not that big of a process missing. I apologize though. So now I'm going to, I'm, I'm deciding whether or not this is done and I don't feel like it's done. I feel like it could be done, but uh, I over embellish, <laughs> so it's not done for me. So I put this gold sticker on here, and then I'm like, yeah, no, I still need more. So I'm going to pull out some stickers from the November 2017 hip kit. And there's some really cute ones from Pink Fresh in here. So... I decide I'm going to use some snowflake stickers after I look at them for a minute, trying to decide what would be the best. I like that pink circle behind that snowflake up there. I think it plays well off of the circle up in the top corner. So I'm going to put it over that one. And then I'm going to pull out another snowflake sticker and I'm going to reposition that silver glittery foam snowflake too. And we are just about done with this side. 
little heart. Okay, now it feels embellished enough for me. Da 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 da. So I'm going to work on this other side and I addition in a lot of papers deciding what I want to do but I decided to go with the corner of the red because I like the way it, um, when the page turns you can see the red framing both pages and I thought everything else kind of detracted from the whole effect so I'm just going to use that corner instead. Once I get it adhered down. And it needs to be trimmed now. So I'm just gonna hand trim it off because I walk on the wild side and live dangerously. <laughs> and then I think that creates enough of an interest on that side of the page without detracting too much. There's a lot going on when you look through the plastic pocket into the page previously. So there's a lot going on on the left hand side of that and I don't want to make this side too busy. So I think it's enough without being too much. There's a lot of white space on the bottom left and I think that that is good. I need a little bit of a place for you to rest your eye. So I'm gonna cut up these journaling strips again. And then I'm going to adhere them underneath my photo. Man, I am struggling with this tape runner. I need to find a better tape runner. I do like how che cheap the refills are for this one, but ah, the struggle is real and I'm not sure that the cheapness is worth the struggle anymore. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, so we're getting just about done here. I'm going to add a little black sticker from this sticker sheet. And then some of these puffy stars and I will call these two spreads golden. So if you enjoyed this video, if you like this spread, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'm giving you December daily and Christmas and project life all month long. All right, bye.